Hi, apes. I hope you've had a good week so far, or the last couple of weeks have been good for you. I do know that a lot of different energies are out there right now. We just had a bunch of um, retrogrades, or we're still in a bunch of retrogrades. We just had a couple of eclipses, and a full moon just passed. So I know there's a lot of crazy energy out there, but I do hope that you're doing well wherever you are. So this is your life path number tarot reading for those with a life path number of eight. And if you don't know how to get your life path number, there is a link in the description where I explain how to figure that out. So you can go check that out. And then if you're an eight, come back here or go check out one of those other numbers that are already up for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Those with a life path number of eight contain an innate abundance of power. Eight seek freedom through financial stability. Eights tend to focus on money from an early age. This can be useful if they're disciplined and perseverant. A reckless attitude can lead to money problems and identity struggles for eights. Eights must cultivate personal power. It may sometimes feel as though life is unfair, but eights with a strong sense of self can handle it. Eights are often resilient, a trait they'll need when their ethics are questioned. Eights value status and may be tempted to live above their means. They yearn to keep up with the Joneses. Due to their materialistic tendencies, eights may try to buy the love of others and must learn to show their love in other ways. Eights may sometimes seem cold and insensitive, but internally they have deep feelings about everything in their life. Eights might struggle to take advice. They want to be in charge of their choices, which sometimes lead to them having to learn the hard way. That's just a little bit about your life path number, and now I'm going to roll this die and we're going to see what your overall energy is. This is the overall energy for most eights. Naturally, these are general readings, but I do find that um, life path numbers are pretty accurate for a lot of people, so if you haven't, take some time to look into your numbers. Well, the numbers of our life in general are pretty accurate. So there's life path number, there's like your birth chart, there's your name number, there's a lot of them out there, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and see what your overall message is. What is the overall message for those with a life path number of eight? What is the overall guiding message for those with a life path number of eight? Three. Focus on building your personal power, eight. You are stronger than you might think right now. Okay, so some of you may be feeling like you are you don't have a lot of personal power, like you're at the mercy of the universe, you're at the mercy of someone else, um, whatever it is, you may not be feeling very powerful at this time. So let's see what your direct message is. This is the direct message for those who are here to receive it, who are watching this here message, this video. Naturally, this won't always resonate with everyone. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But if it does, you know, let me know in the comments. And if it doesn't, come back next time and maybe that will have changed. So for those who are here to receive it, what is the direct message? For those who need to hear it, what is the direct message for those eights who are here? Please and thank you. I am asking their higher self. I am asking mine. I am asking our spiritual guides and deity, all those beings out there that watch over us, those angels and our ancestors. What is the direct message for those with a life path number of eight who are here to receive it? Please and thank you. You have going beyond normal, okay? So you may be struck with an idea, you may have something um, that you're just really good at and you're even better than people might give you credit for. Um, it may have to do with your with your work or with your the things that are like um, the foundations of your life. So it could be work, it could be whatever it is that, that you put to the forefront of your life of what you consider having, what you consider being the crux of your life. So that could be your relationship, your home, anything like that. In that area, I think you may be needing to go a little bit beyond what you may usually do. Okay, let's see if we can learn a little bit more about that. 
Please clarify going beyond normal for those with a life path number of eights who are here today. What is going beyond normal trying to tell them what message is being delivered to those with a life path number of eights? Going beyond normal, what is the message for them? Please and thank you. Ten of Wands, okay? So you're, you're coming to the end of something that's been a lot of work for you. It's been hard. You may even feel kind of tired, like you're at this point where you're almost ready to give up and quit. But this is always a message to not quit. So whatever it is you've been doing, um, you, you've been working hard and you've been going above and beyond what I think is necessary. And because here it's telling you to draw on your personal power i think in relation to to whatever you're doing you may be feeling tired or wanting to quit but that again you have the strength and you have the power and you have all the ability that you need to get through this and get to the end because you're at this position where it's like it's like that comic where there's like these two guys digging and one of them stops digging and he's tired and he's quitting and going back and the other one he digs like literally like just one more layer and there's treasure okay so keep going to get that extra layer keep moving forward and don't don't quit just because you're tired at this time okay so let's see what your soul is trying to tell you what is the soul or spirit message for the eight who is here to receive it what is the soul or spirit message for those eights who are here to receive it what is your soul trying to tell you what message is it trying to express or trying to get out for you? What is the soul of the eight who is here? What is their soul trying to say? Please and thank you. Do you have the six of wands here on this side? Okay, so you may be feeling victorious. Like you've won some sort of battle or you've, you've um, overcome some sort of hardship. But on this side, I feel like even though, yes, you did win, you may not feel as good about it. Like you may have had to go through something very hard, very dark to get to where you are. And while people are beginning to recognize um, just what you did to get to get to where you are like people are seeing maybe your strength they're seeing your power they're saying that you went through all kinds of stuff and yeah there's a whole lot of bridges burned behind you but you know what it's for the best um you did what you had to do and now you are in a place where you know people see that people see even despite the scars and the bruising and and the trauma of your past People see how strong you are now, and I think your soul is trying to express that to you. Um, other, on the other other side, your soul is trying to express that to the world and show people because it doesn't feel like they're seeing it enough. Okay, so it's like, hey, I've been through all this stuff. Listen, look, look, look how successful I've been, or just look how I survived it. You know, I survived it. I made it. I'm here, and I need people to know that I'm strong. And I think your soul is trying to express that to you. Like, I'm stronger than than you feel, even though you're tired, even though you think you might be ready to give up. You're not done. You haven't been defeated, okay? So let's see what your heart and soul are trying to tell you. What is the heart and soul message? Or heart and mind, I should say. Heart and mind message. For those eights, those with a life path number of eight who are here to receive it, what is the heart and mind message? For those with a life path number of eight, for this two-week period, please, what is their heart trying to tell them? I am asking to reach out to my higher self and theirs. Please let us know. What is the heart and mind trying to express, or where is it, or how does it? How do they feel for this life path number of eight? Please and thank you. So you have seven of wands and with the seven of wands
Hmm. You might be being a little bit too hard on yourself about something. Like, either you're telling yourself you're not good enough, or you can't succeed, you can't go forward. Um, you're just kind of deceiving yourself here. You're like telling yourself that you're not good enough, or that, that you you don't deserve these positive things, or, or that you're not strong enough. Like, I think you're being very hard on yourself at this point, um, and I don't think you're treating yourself very kindly. Like, you could be, you could be nicer to yourself. I think your heart and your mind, um, they're in a place where you're just not feeling the most positive about yourself, about your life. Like your self-esteem is struggling, your, um, just your personal beliefs about who you are. It's all kind of on a downhill slope, and I hate to say that, it's not very positive. But you know what, I think the message here is that if you switch your, because sevens are the number of reassessing and rethinking things, so you feel like the message is if you re, if you switch your point of view, if you reassess how you're talking to yourself and how you're treating yourself, um, you're going to realize again that you have way more strength than you're giving yourself credit for, and that's you know if that that makes sense with what we had here and here. It's like you're tired and you're feeling exhausted, so naturally you're telling yourself that you can't go on and that you're not good enough but you know what i feel like with this little kind of demon image you are lying to yourself you are way stronger than you think okay so let's see what your physical message is this could be your body this could be your finances your relationships your home anything that's going on on the physical mundane earthly level what is the message for the eight who is here, for the eights who are here, what is the message on the physical, earthly, mundane level? For those of the life path number of eight who are here to receive and hear this message, please let us know what's going on in their mundane, earthly realm, in their physical, earthly life. What is the deal? Please and thank you. You have 10 of coins. Yeah, so this struggle that you're going through, right, and then the next one was seven of seven of swords. I'm just going to place that there. The struggle you're going through, um, it's coming to an end, and after this situation ends, you are going to find that this was all necessary, that whatever you've been working on, whatever you've been going above and beyond to do, even though you're a little bit um, roughed up, from this situation you're gonna come out with a lot of positivity a lot of abundance however because we got the seven of swords i think that's only going to happen if you can change your mindset if you can stop beating yourself up and stop being so down on yourself stop pushing yourself into like stop telling yourself you're not good enough all right that's like that's the big thing I'm, I'm getting here. Stop telling yourself you're not good enough. Yes, you've been through a lot. Um, no, you didn't come out of this unscathed. But all that struggle, all that stress, it is nearing its its culmination, its end. Okay, so we got these, we got two tens here, and then um, two sevens. So I am feeling like. You have to switch your mindset so that this situation can end on a positive high note. Okay, so let's see what your love message is from the universe. So this is not a, not a romantic kind of love. This is more of a supportive kind of love. Love of spirits, love of the divine. So what do they need to know? What does this ace need to know from the universe? Concerning the love of the universe, what message does this eight need to hear? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Oh, two came up, so let's take a look. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. Right, so um, I did mention there was some trauma or some struggle in your past that you had to go through and now you're a little bit scarred even though you survived, okay? Whatever that horrifying, whatever that experience was that, that put you into this position where you are feeling so damaged, 
you survived, all right? And if you hold on to your faith in the universe and faith in yourself, faith in your higher power and your, your spirit, then it's going to help take all that stuff that you went through and it's going to not only lead you to heal yourself, but it's going to allow you to grow and feel more love and heal other people. And it's taking you somewhere. You had to go through this experience for um, for for that growth, for that healing. Okay, you wouldn't. I don't think you would have found that growth and that healing otherwise if you hadn't gone through whatever it is that's brought you to this point where you're just kind of at the brink of exhaustion, where you're a little bit roughed up, where you're a little bit scarred. Um, you had to go through that to get to a point where you can start to heal, where you can start to grow, and you're so close to that healing that you need. But I do feel like it's time to rethink the way you're talking to yourself, the way you're treating yourself, and the lies you're telling yourself because there's something you're not being um, clear about concerning who you are, concerning your your ability, your strength, your wisdom, whatever. There's something you're lying to yourself about and, and pretending you don't, or not even pretending, it's like you, you strongly believe the lie you're telling yourself, that you're not good enough, that you're not strong enough, that you can't do this, you can't finish this. That's the lie you're telling yourself and I feel like, you know, you need to switch your faith, switch your, switch your mind to faith, okay? Trust in where the universe is guiding you. So let's see if there are any closing remarks. For those who are here to receive it, for those eights who are here for this message, is there anything else they need to go to know before we go? Is there anything else those of the life path number of eight who are here should hear, should receive, should understand? Please and thank you. What more? What is our final message for the eight who are here to take it in? Please and thank you. And of course, thank you, eights, for being here. So you have six of cups, nine of swords, five of swords, five of wands, and the empress, justice, and wheel of fortune after that. So I'm going to place those down first and read the first four. So Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, Five of Wands. With Six of Cups, we have someone who maybe has some very positive memories or just memories of your childhood that you're experiencing. So maybe whatever it is you went through, this is something that's been years in the making. Like this healing that you're coming upon, this ending that you're finding yourself um, getting to that's going to bring you some more abundance. Um, like the situation you've been in that is not that been positive it may have started in your childhood it may have been going on for quite some time and then you have nine of swords you may be even as an adult now you may be afraid that you can't get out of that situation whether it's a family thing um whether it's a, a weird relationship like friendships that you just are kind of stuck in you know those things happen but whatever it is you're afraid too like you're afraid that you can't get out, but you're also afraid that if you leave, you know, you don't know what else is going to happen. It could be something bad out there waiting for you if you break away from this. But I do feel like its origin started in your childhood, so be aware of that. It could be like a family thing. This could also symbolize that you're stuck in mental illness or emotional illness um, from this childhood trauma. And then we have Five of Swords, so you may find that you are struggling to communicate your feelings and communicate what you're trying to um, trying to do, how you're trying to get out of this situation. And then you have five of wands, which means you're even even though it's not easy, you're preparing to break away. Um, I think it, just from what I've seen here, I think whatever situation you're in, it stemmed from your childhood. It's gotten you. It's you're dealing with a lot of insecurities because of it. It's done something to to your brain, like this negative self-talk it's all because of um trauma it's all because of something that happened in your childhood or just the way you grew up something in your past and i think you know you right now you're kind of trapped in that past but i do feel like you're you're trying to fight your way out with these two fives here this five of swords and five of wands they usually mean struggle but here in this case i feel like you're trying to fight your way out um, fight your way away from this insecurity, from this um, childhood trauma, from this worry, this fear, this 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 um, kind of 
broken innocence almost wow um that's i don't i don't want to say that it sounds sad, sad but like that's how i feel and whatever it is you are you're in the fight of your life trying to get out of this situation it is no longer um something that you're just sitting and letting happen and i'm not saying let as in you allowed it i'm saying it's not something you you had the opportunity or ability or belief that you had the ability to stop before and now you're starting to come into the belief that you can change this situation that you can break away that you can get away from whatever it is that caused you this trauma and makes you feel so trapped and so insecure and so scared to move forward okay you're almost you're almost at the end of this situation okay Hates, don't worry, you are almost through this. And then we got the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, and Justice. Absolutely, you are almost free. You are so close with the Empress. It is telling me that you, you're going to need some nurture. You're going to need to give yourself some love and some care. And understand that even though things have not been easy, they're about to turn. The wheel is about to turn. You have another 10 here. Okay, so this situation is ending. You are going to break free. You are going to escape. And the people who are, who, or the, the, whatever it is that brought you to this point of insecurity and that created that trauma, they will no longer have a hold on you. You will be free. You will be able to escape and see, um, see justice. Whether that means they suffer because of what they did or whether that means you just get to be free and get to be healthy and happy and more than what you thought you could have been. You're going to break out of this situation. Things are going to improve for you. And you're going to need to be taken care of and know, know that you are loved, okay? Eight, just know that you are very much loved. And all this stuff that you had to go through it is bringing you to a place of great, great abundance, all right? That is your reading number eight. Thank you so very much for being here. I do wish you all the best. Please let me know if this resonated with you in the comments. Um, not only does that let you know YouTube know that people are actually watching the videos, which means that they'll put it on the front page so other people can watch the videos and more people can receive the message, um, but it also lets me know, most importantly, that people are watching and that you know that means a lot it really it really warms my heart and it really makes this feel worthwhile like i love reading and i love all the learning naturally but you you who are watching and commenting you make it what it is you make it special you make it feel right and you 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 let me know that this is the right path so say hi in the comments even if it doesn't resonate say hi. I'd like to hear from you. I'd love to hear from all of you. Until next time, I do hope everything improves. I know that you're going to get through this. You have more, way more strength than, than you think. You are stronger. Don't let these negative thoughts, don't let them stop you. Even though your soul is hurting, don't let them keep you from, from finding this, this healing that you need right now, okay? And I think you're I think you're seriously needing some healing here and you're going to break away from whatever it is that caused you this pain in the first place. I wish you all the best. I will see you next time and please, please, please remember that I love you. Bye.